What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with a brand new video today. I am doing West Ham United's team and ratings prediction for next FIFA, FIFA 17, which obviously is out in a couple months time in September. West Ham had a really good season this year under new manager Slavan Bilic. He's brought in some good signs and has been linked in with some even bigger names. We're going to go through the potential signings West Ham could sign and the potential team for next season along with the ratings. So, without further ado, the first player we've got here is Adrian. And I kept him at the same at 78 rated. Uh, he hasn't had you know, a, a phenomenal season. He hasn't had a, a really bad season. I think he's had an average season for his standards. Um, and... You know, he, he's a goalkeeper that I, I'm fully confident of in net for West Ham. So, 78 rated, I think is a fair enough rating for him. And I think that's the rating he'll get from EA. Now, at right back, we do have a new player at right back. And uh, it's a player that played, you know, half the season on the wing, half the season at the back. And it is Mikel Antonio, who's got himself a few goals also from that position. And, obviously, in right mid. Had a brilliant first season for West Ham. Still, I'm a little bit sceptical of his right-back qualities. Uh, he's had definitely something he has to work on, but Slavan Bilic has made it clear that Mikel Antonio will be the man playing at right-back, it seems, for next season. Now, at the back, we do have the partnership of Angelo Ogbonna and Winston Reid. And Ogbonna stays at 79 rated, who by far probably was our best defender last year. Absolutely unreal player. Um, an absolute bargain that we've gotten from Juventus. And he actually is a player that I enjoy at the back. He is an absolute force. He's so physical. And he's an athlete too. Really do enjoy Angelo Ogbonna at the back. And also Winston Reid, 79 rated too. Uh, had a decent season at West Ham. Probably one of our better centre-backs too. Um, you know, he's come under fire recently of not being the best um, at the back because that's Antonio pushed too far up, left him a little bit, you know, neglected at the back. But Winston Reid, I think, is an awesome player and he'll have a big season this year. I can just see it. And at left back, we do have Aaron Cresswell, who I have upgraded to 76 rated. How on earth has Aaron Cresswell not been upgraded? He's probably been one of the better and most consistent players in this West Ham United team over the last two seasons. And he deserves it. He, it to be fair, he really does deserve it. Going into his third season with West Ham now, and I, I can't believe how good of a player he is. He really is. Um, he's a real talent, and how he still isn't a gold really is beyond me. He, he's definitely got to be having shots for England, surely. At centre defence mid, we do have our captain, our leader, Mark Noble, who has had an incredible season. Probably one of the best players behind Dimitri Payet last season. Mark Noble, absolutely unreal. Upgrading to 79 rated, um, you know, 77 physical, 74 defending, 76 dribbling, 79 passing. He's a well-rounded defensive player. Um, you know, he got a few goals too last season. So, never count out Mark Noble, an incredible player, an incredible leader, and definitely a pivotal part in this West Ham United squad. Next player we do have is Chiku Kiate, one of the best centre defensive midfielders I feel in the league due to his size and his physical ability. Obviously, he matches up with the likes of Victor Wanyama. Now, maybe his passing and all that isn't there, but his physical and defensive abilities and his pace all add up to make him a very, very good centre defence midfielder. Also can play centre back too. We know what this guy is all about. Next player we got is new signing, Safane Faguli. He left him at 81 rated. Didn't have, you know, an incredible season in the league last Last year, but he has the potential to be an, an, an awesome player. And at right midfield, I've got him here. Um, the Algerian looking to mimic, obviously, um, his fellow countryman Mares's season last year. And why not? You know, 89 pace, 85 dribbling. Um, he, we know he's got the ability. I just can't wait to see him in a West Ham shirt. He's a quite a skillful player too. So you know, mix that all together with the likes of Dimitri Payet, Manuel Lanzini, um, you got yourself a really good player. Next player we've got is our talisman, our best player, it is Dimitri Payet. Left him at 85 rated, could easily be 86, and he's a left midfielder. I feel he will be, unfortunately, going into the new season. 80 pace, 88 dribbling, 86 passing, 71 physical and 79 shooting. Makes Dimitri Payet one of the most best left midfielders in the league this year, and maybe even for next year too, maybe likes the sorry behind the likes of Eden Hazard. Unreal player. Lit up the Euros too, obviously, over the last month. And he really is an accomplished player. I love Dimitri Payet. We've got Payet. And he is just a brilliant player. I absolutely love the lad. Next player we've got is Manuel Lanzini, who has obviously turned his loan deal into a permanent one at West Ham. And why not? What a player he is. Um, still very young. He's actually in the Olympic team also for the Rio Olympics. So congratulations to Manuel Lanzini. I hope he does really well in them. hope he can bring back a medal. Um, not gold, hope uh, Team GB do that, but have to wait and see. Manuel Lanzini, though, incredible player, incredible talent, and 
still only very young, so can't really see what the future holds for him. And up top, a new signing alert that we've potentially been linked with. It is Carlos Backer, one of the best finishers in the world. And don't say I'm getting ahead of myself. This guy literally is one of the best finishers in the world. Third top goal scorer in Serie A last season in a very, very average AC Milan side. He will be joining for about 26 million euros, I do believe. Very good price, to be fair. Really good player. And I'm so excited about the prospect of Carlos Bacca joining the club. And that's the starting 11 done, guys. So as you can see here, starting 11 is all complete. What do you think of the starting 11? Do you think that will be West Ham starting 11? Or do you think other players will creep into that side? Let me know in the comment section down below on who you think will make the starting 11 for next year. And are these ratings spot on? Now... Let's look at the uh, substitutes, just breeze through these ones here. So the first one we have got is Darren Randolph, upgraded to a 74 rate. He had a really good Euros with the Republic of Ireland. And uh, when he's played in net for West Ham, he's actually had a really decent game. So I'll keep him at the club. Hopefully he stays at the club also. Next one I've got is Rico Henry, a player that has been linked with a move to West Ham United uh, from Warsaw, I do believe. So the highly rated left back, I believe he plays for England under 19s too. So we know he's a great player. He's still very young. He's a bright prospect. And apparently he will be coming in for left back cover for the Hammers. Next player we've got is James Collins. Again, had another decent season at West Ham when he did play. Was a rock and I've kept him. Um, I've actually upgraded him to 76 rated because he was one of our better centre backs last year. Next player we've got is Reese Burke. Um, with James Tompkins leaving, Reese Burke will be getting a shot. Did win um, Bradford's Player of the Year last season. So he's a great youth prospect. And hopefully we see that 64 card get upgraded to maybe a silver in the in the um, winter upgrades. Only the time will tell. But Reese Burke is a real, real talent. Next one we've got is Sam Byron. Recently arrived from Leeds in the January transfer window. Just gone. Uh, played a couple of games. Did get suspended, unfortunately. And then lost his place to Antonio at right back. It'll uh, be interesting to see if he does feature this much this season or if he will go on loan. But again, another bright prospect in Sam Byram. Next player we've got is the free signing that we did obviously get in uh, Much and Gladbach's captain, Harvard Nordweit. Um, the Norwegian is a really good talent, can play centre back, CDM, and right back. Very versatile player. Be interesting to see how he actually does do. A very tall player also. So again, that has its uh, pros and cons. And he might even break into the first team. Um, this season, um, given some good performances he might make. Next time we've got is Pedro Obiang. Was rumored to be leaving the club, but he will be joining now. Left him up to a 75 rated because when he did play for West Ham last season, he was absolutely quality. He wants to fight for a place in the team, and that's the attitude you're looking for. Pedro Obiang will be staying, and it will be a hammer next year. Next player we've got is Reese Oxford. Ignore, ignore the name, just look at the card. 71 rated off, giving him the young centre back or centre defence midfielder. Has had a really good start to his West Ham life. And hopefully he can continue that next year. Maybe going out on loan, maybe not. Only time will tell what Reece Oxford is a prospect. And hopefully he'll get some game time also with James Tompkins leaving. Next player we've got is Gorkan Tor. The Turkish man would have maybe completed the move by the time this video goes out. Or in the next couple of days, he has joined West Ham United. It's all but confirmed. Can't wait to see this guy in a West Ham shirt. Can't wait to see how he plays. Can't wait to see him um, obviously light up the Barclays Premier League. Really exciting signing for the Hammers. I'm over the moon. Next player we've got is Martin Samuelson, and after his loan at Peterborough, has definitely caught the attention of all the West Ham fans and obviously all the Championship fans too. Um, is it going to be his breakthrough season? I don't know. We have to wait and see. He's a very technically gifted player, and the future is very bright for young Norwegian star Martin Samuelson. Next player we've got is Andy Carroll, England's probably best target man that didn't go to the Euros. Andy Carroll, since coming back from injury and being kept injury free, is looking like a real force to be messed with. Absolutely love the guy. Absolutely love what he's all about. Andy Carroll is the man. And the last player we do have is Wissam Ben Yedder. West Ham have been linked to a move for him as the Sullivans, who obviously are the owners of West Ham, have been in the south of France trying to get a deal for Wissam Ben Yedder or Martin Braithwaite, I do believe. Ben Yedder, definitely a player I want. Definitely a player the fans want. I'd absolutely love to see this transfer happen. Real good player, real good prospect. Again, you've got Backer, Carroll, and Ben Yedder, who all are different kind of players. Backer's the finisher. Ben Yedder is the man that can get in behind. He's got the pace on him and can definitely, you know, got the technical ability. And Andy Carroll is the target man. Lovely bit of business for West Ham. If that is our team for next season, I'll be absolutely over the moon. But guys, that is a bring into today's video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you smash that like button if you want to see more. And put in the comment section down below which team you want me to do next for um, the next club. As always, I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.